What's up Android fanatics? This is TechFanatic9 from AndroidTechBattleBlackSpot.com Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Foxhound for your Galaxy Nexus GSM. Unfortunately this only works on GSM. They do not have it support for Rise or Sprint. So sorry guys, you Galaxy Nexus users are left out on this ROM review. Don't worry, I will have more ROM reviews on ones that support all three devices and on Rise and Sprint alone. So guys, don't need to worry, I will have ROM reviews for those too. So first of all, you got your phone right here, guys, and I'm going to be showing you how to install it. So first thing you do, make sure you have your cord. So I'm going to get my cord, make sure you have your cord, and just plug it into your computer, because we're going to be transferring a zip file. That zip file, it will be located in the description, so go ahead and download that zip file right away. When it's done downloading, it will take a few minutes, it's a big file, so start downloading it right now. Once it's done, done downloading, we're going to be transferring the file to our phone. So just plug it in. And now we're going to be going to the computer. Okay guys, so you can see right here I have a zip file. So you're going to be transferring that zip file directly onto your phone. Alright guys? Let me just raise the brightness so you can see a little bit better. So just transfer the zip file to your phone via the micro USB file or a cord. And once you're done transferring that, you can unplug everything. I'm not going to actually be transferring because I already have transferred on my phone. So once you got that all transferred out, just unplug your phone. So just unplug your phone and make sure you have Clockwork Mod Recovery installed as well. If you don't have it installed, I will have a little link right there in the corner of the screen on how to install it for your GSM, Verizon, and Sprint phone. So once you get that all done, transferred phone, you have Clockwork Mod Recovery installed, just unplug your phone from your computer and we're going to be doing the rest through the phone. No need for computers anymore. Okay, so now we have Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. If you don't, as always, it will be linked right here. And once you got that installed and all that to go, and you have the file transferred to your phone, we're going to be entering into fast boot mode. So what you're going to be doing is just power off your device. So just power it up. It doesn't matter what you're on, you're on or anything like that. We're just going to be powering off. And I want to warn you that we're going to be erasing everything. So make sure you have all your contacts, apps, all backed up via um, the Google Cloud and all that stuff. And titanium backup. Okay, now we're going to be holding the volume up, volume down, and power button all at the same time. Keep holding until you see a start screen. Alright, you see a start screen. Now you're going to be pressing the volume up twice to get into recovery. As you can see here, recovery, press the power to select it. And now you'll be here on clock in my recovery mode. Give it a few seconds. Okay, now you can see right here, let me zoom in and you get a better angle on that. Alright, as you can see right there, that you have you you have to choose wipe data slash factory reset, so use the power buttons, or you can touch it if you have the touch version. So And wipe data slash factory reset, and go hold it down to yes. It's only take a few seconds, so be patient. Okay, it's done. You know what's done when you have these options back again. So now we're just going to go to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. And find that Foxhound file, the zip file. As you can see right there, that's the Foxhound zip file, as you can see right there. So it's going to be selecting that and selecting yes. So this is known as flashing a RAM. If you guys didn't know that, this is how you flash a RAM. Installing zip from SD card. That's what they mean when you flash. Flash this from Clock of Mind Recovery. Okay, it's done. As you can see, once again, it says installs it from SD card. Any of these options, once again, as long as you have one of those, you know that it's done. So now we're just going to go back. And now we're going to go into Advanced. And we're going to clear Dalvik Cache. So choose yes. Alright, it's done. It says Dalvik Cache wiped. Now we're going to go back. And we're also being a wipe cache partition. Now this is what it's just clearing the cup cache. It won't do anything bad to your phone. It's just like clearing the cache from your web browser. It just clears all the data, makes it all nice and clean. As you can see, it's done. So it's complete. And you have option once again. So it just makes it clean and it just makes it so. And it helps you. It helps your phone from getting stuck into boot or boot animation mode. So all you guys who are always commenting or asking me on email, I don't mind that at all. I keep asking. If you need help, I'm always glad to help you guys. But if you get stuck on boot animation, don't forget to make sure you do a factory reset. 
you clear drive cache and you clear or you wipe cache partition all those things in clockwork mode recovery then just reboot your phone and it should work within 10 minutes so we get all things cleared up and we install the zip or also known as flashing for your more advanced people and we're just going to reboot this now so I'll be back once this is done let me just keep it going so you know that it's actually on the new ROM you can see right away with the new boot animation All right, there you go, the new new boot animation. So enjoy that, and I'll be back when this is done. All right, it's done rebooting, and please wait at least ten minutes before commenting, like I said before. So I'm just gonna be skipping through all this real quick, and you can see there's a little Android here. That means you're on ice cream sandwich, not jelly bean. Okay, and right away, as you can see. That you got everything themed, it's all dark themed, blue not all the icons, but all the dark icons. You can see the web browser is also themed, I believe. Yes, it is. Yes, you, when you press it, it's blue. So it's all blue and all that. So a lot of these things are themed, and let me just go into settings real quick. To show you guys, it's on 4.0.4, the latest ice cream sandwich version. So it's 4.0.4. Right there, if it focuses. All right, it's 4.0.4, and your kernel is 3.0.2 in Soyan. So that I have never actually heard of that kernel, but but still good kernel. Cause um, also if you want to check out my RAM review for this, the quadrant scores, what it offers, the LED lights, you can change the actual, the, you know, the notification lights. You can actually change that. I, I show you how to do that, how to do 180 rotation. So you can have the phone upside down and right side up, I guess, is one makes sense. But anyway, guys, I will have a little link right here once I get it uploaded. It will be uploaded today as soon as this one gets uploaded, within like a couple hours. So that is what's it, guys. So thanks for watching, guys. And once again, I created Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus Plays. So please don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and on Google, and Amity Suck on Google Plus. Those are all three great ways to contact me for any help, and those are great ways to know when I get new news, any major news about Android, including the Galaxy Nexus and T989, and just great ways when I upload new videos and all that. So it's just all around a great place to find me to know what I'm doing and all that. So thanks for watching, guys, and please don't forget to subscribe and rate as well. See you guys. And you can find all three links, Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus on the side of my channel right there if you're on my channel. So just head over to my channel, you can get all three links right there. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.